The mysteries of a surprise are still not totally clear to us yet and Rita is trying to solve it step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. It is day 8 right now after our crash on this alien planet and right now we are, yeah, we are not so bad off. The defenses are set up. We are researching some better defenses right now. Queen is going to make sure of that. Um, we are also having the food in the storage right now and we even have, yeah, we even even have the first field so of course this is still going to take quite some time but at least there is food growing for us and we can yeah we can just take it a bit relaxed right now Jack is yeah preparing more weapons another spear here so that we have plenty of uh, melee weapons available I think we do have another spear available there perfect Ken what is going on with you he's already fully armed uh, Jack is lacking that spear so Jack can also equip it right away and now he continues with the next one as well. There is some cloth outside. I think if it's not under a roof, it will actually spoil it. As we can see, a year it takes for it, right? Um, if it's under a roof, it is actually lasting infinite or indefinite. And the, that actually counts for most of these building materials. So um, we should also make sure that we can actually store them um, under a, a, a roof, right? And we can do this right away, actually, by building us a nice uh, shelter that goes all the way uh, to the end here right so it's one big shelter that has the the storages in it and with that we have no problem anymore getting all of this done actually let's just switch it around to this layout so that we have it open in both directions and with that the storage can then continue and we could also then add another piece of shelter here or here and add more storage if required but i don't think that's required for now it is still spring though spring is surely and slowly coming to an end and with that we should then also start preparing for winter finally after the big after the big um yeah settling in phase that we are still kind of like being in but not for that much longer we also have found some fuel um right now the wooden fortifications are still going to take a bit of time but they are finished soon and then we could actually look to something new and oh clothes and weapons lose their integrity over time we still have the old spaceship debris of course yeah the tailor sh uh, the tailor shop Taylor table has been finished and with that we can start with um, making us a few a, a bit of cloth there um, I would actually like to go ahead and make us uh, some some boots right for the summer there especially it doesn't cost me that much especially if I use just a bit of cloth and it makes sure that we are not overheating and I think the shoes are the first equipment actually that is going to wear out there it is right losing the most integrity of them and that means we should probably have a few of them available also um, training of course Jack and Ken while doing that. Let's have a, a bunch of sneakers there and let's just craft me some two of them as well and we're not going to use my synthetic textiles on that because we want to save them for something better. Meanwhile, more aggressive animals spawn. However, as we can see, we also got these flightless birds and boy, they are not so easy to take down. So they're fighting out there right now, just in front of my camp really, which is great for us because it reduces the amount of uh, beetles that will attack potentially. However, it's also not that great because the dead beetles are then scattered all around here. As we can see, they actually prevailed. This one's fleeing now, flightless bird, and now they're waiting here probably to attack us then as well. Also, we have discovered the smoke leaf. And the white leaves of this planet are remarkably similar to a rare and expensive type of tobacco. Uh, anyway, if I'm correct, these smoke leaf plants contain several alkaloid stimulants. And we can do two things with that. We can uh, dry them to make pipes out of it. And we can also boil them for tea. The next day it is once more a bit of rain today. That's fine. Most of my people can work under a shelter, under a roof. I still want to make sure that today we actually finish then our... Uh, stick shelters here with the sticks and the hay that we have. I mean, the building material is right here, <laughs> so it's really quick to build, quick and easy. And this will increase now the duration of these here quite a lot. Wooden fortifications has been finished, perfect. With that, we have a new area of defense now. That's the tower. It does cost me quite a bit of wood, but it's going to be worth it because with the tower, we can shoot from above. And that's definitely something that I would like to prepare. Let's go for the next um, area of defense. Yes, the flamethrower, there it is. I've been waiting for it, honestly. It's going to make my life a lot easier for any kind of attack. 
um, and that's that. Also, we can have a look at the long distance travel. This will unlock us then the expeditions. Very important that we go for this. And I might also, I might also have a look at antibiotic production. With that, we have the fermentation up. Now, the animals are attacking. Didn't take them so long. Off they go. And yeah, being the first test for my new defenses here. Let's take my, my colonists right away. They're all in here, actually. Jack also found some more medicine. How very nice. And let's just get them over. Right now, still no wooden defense. If they had a tower, they could shoot from way further away, right? That's still fine. And as we can see, with a few more bows, we are totally prepared for this. Queen and Rita don't have anything yet, so they are sticking behind a bit. I probably should keep Jack, though, at the front, because he has the best weapon. And as we can see, those traps are doing an amazing job at keeping the, those beetles at bay. They're getting stuck in there, bleeding to death, or getting shot to death as well. So this attack also was no problem for us. Better defense, and of course those beetles already got decimated by the birds as well quite a bit. So that was also a bit lucky there for us. Still two of them on their way. There they are. And there's the last one. There you go. And let's also make sure that we can butcher those insects because they are going to give me once again insect meat and I can make some synthetics out of that. Super important. The shelters have been finished once more. So now we have good storage here and the hay, especially the sticks and the cloth will last now forever. We have no pressure really of using them. Really busy in the camp. Everybody is hard at work butchering, sleeping, Ken. He has been working through the night, actually, so he deserves it. Uh, Rita, once again, is crafting, though. I'm not super happy with that. She's not good at that, right? Nor sh will she get any additional skills out of it. So we probably should say no for Rita to crafting. Actually, it is already deactivated. Tailoring it is, though. And this is something we're also going to put down. Mm, Jack is actually also interested in tailoring. So he's going to have a higher priority of this. He also reached level 4 on crafting. Very good. This is going to be super important for us in the future. Also, Ken is interested. Very interesting. Ken and Jack are the ones interested in tailoring. So, Ken, you're also going to be on level 2 for this. Now, I will still need more rocks and stone. Over here, we got some nice deposits there that we can mine. Perfect. I will need a lot of this for the foundation of our first house. And also, um, we have the flamethrower. So this is another piece of equipment, another piece of a defense that I want to have. It requires 20 metal alloys. And lucky us, we have already some of them now, thanks to our uh, furnace, right? So we can go ahead and let's actually start with that. Let's make sure that we have a nice cone here where the flamethrower is looking in, right? So I, I would like to have one here and we can have a second one then on the other side. Uh, perhaps a bit further away from each other. So that we get a good area of overlap there for any kind of animal that would like to join then into my <laughs> into my camp. This also gives me then room to have a tower on both sides. So we're going to have then one tower here and one tower on the other side for defensive purposes. And of course, with all of that construction, we need a few more logs. So let's cut down some trees over there. They're regrowing again out of these bushes. So in that case, we should have plenty of trees close by and we have huge forest over there, but that's a bit further away, of course. Not something I can do right now. It would take too much time. Things are going well. Um, I think we've also, yeah, we got the smoke leaf now that we would be able to also um, use then. We also have these smoke leaf bushes though that I can also then just always harvest if I want to. Um, also next up, we can also prepare already the next construction site, which is this area then. So let's cut down a lot of these bushes there. And we might also then harvest these smoke leaves at some point now. Makes people happy to smoke a bit. <laughs> also, there it is, a dartboard, a new piece of equipment for leisure activities. Uh, it needs to be equipped on a wall. 
so i can have it anywhere here um yeah probably just on this shelter that we have there right be possible is it not possible mm. on the side might be on, might be possible on the side there it is just something so my people can actually have some fun time there as well We have finished the long distance travel. This actually leads to a new tech. That's the synthetic armor. That's super important. Um, and this is uh, the most important armor that we can have for quite a few years, actually. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get the synthetic armor going. Um, this is a long term project there as well, right? Even after researching it, uh, it's going to take a long time before we can really have a a sizable um, amount of, <laughs> of, these, of this armor here. Antibiotics, then the synthetics um we might also have a look at space no, spaceship deconstruction we don't really need yet oil extraction insects fat that we can have no 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 emergency rations that's a quick one though distillation uh, to make some beer out of the, the 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 grain that we find also coffee makes people happy so this is also something that i can go with let's also work a bit on happiness and then the emergency rations as well. So quite a lot to research for Quinn, most likely. The next day is dawning. It's day 10. It's probably the last day of spring or the second last day. Either one, either. And let's have a look at that. A thick column of smoke is rising from a nearby area. This unlocks the thick smoke expedition. Speaking about expeditions, we have the long distance travel. There it is. And yeah, we can with that build now a hot air balloon. Uh, it's a really big building and also it's an expensive building, right? So 50 cloth it takes me. Also 10 alloys and 20 sticks. Let's actually have it somewhere over there. Easy to, to see and easy to, or, or actually also over here. So this could be a farming area at some point. Uh, decisions, uh, decisions. Um, we'll also have it over there, just by the yeah, by the lake, and we are not going to need um, that area for a, a long time, right? So there you go. Get the balloon close by. Lots of things to construct, really. The flamethrowers are on right now. We have lots of metal too. Might need to make more alloys then. There's the next tower, or the first tower actually, and there's a flamethrower now. Ready for action? It will then require fuel, so it starts with 10 right away. But of course, we will need to find ways of getting more um, fuel in then. Also, construction, level 4 for Ember, that's great. She's now more efficient and building stuff. Two flamethrowers, ready for action. This is going to be fun. Just need a few more uh, locks now for the tower stand as well. I was looking with my alloy production. The limit has been reached. Uh, we're oh we are doing it times right now this is of course is not ideal we want to make it until we have a certain amount of storage and that is about 200 the same goes with my other one the 200 should be my minimum storage right now and whenever we are below that they will just continue smelting again Food wise, yeah, we are getting really low there now on the food side. Um, so I might just have a look at my squashes that we have, right? So we have already found them and observed them. So I can harvest them now. Rita should do the job. And with that, we get plenty of food that we can then cook into veggie soups. Also, of course, finding some dead animals might be nice as well. This is all uh, temporary until we have the first harvest in, right? And there's lots of green coming out here. And Rita's going for some farming. This makes her happy, even though she's soaking wet. And there it is, antibiotics production. And also we have, lo uh, well, we have lost the first harvest. No, not really. We have also harvested the first buttermelons. Lost harvest it is because Rita can only carry up to 200 of that. The rest is just being left behind. But of course, we can always get it then as well. Um, and with that, there's a bit of food coming in as well. And with that, we also have a new recipe then here. And that's the veggie soup now that I can have as well. All the way up to three we have then. Um, I will probably not use meat soups anymore. I mean, we still have a bit of meat, but it's going to spoil now soon. So I'm actually going to say no to meat soups. And we're going in with grain porridge whenever we have grain and veggie soup whenever we have some vegetables stocked in. Queen has reached level 6 on the intellect. 
another nice boost here also to my researching. And we have now finished the antibiotics production. And with that, we can now start with the fermentation barrels. These are going to be super important for us because not only can we make antibiotics out of grain with that, we can also make pickled vegetables out of vegetables. And pickled vegetables are super durable food for winter time that we can then cook once more. So I definitely want to start with that and probably having a little fermentation farm somewhere where we can have a lot of these barrels going. And I think over here, right beside my shelters, is a good spot for it. We could also have it on that side here, where we where we don't really have a lot of things uh, being worked on right now. But I think this area we can keep off limits for the moment. So here is a good spot for it. Also, we can always just easily move buildings around. And yeah, we can go crazy on the amount of fermentation barrels here, right? So we can get a uh, full two rows down here. That's more than I will ever need, honestly. Let's start with five right now. Um, and then I can have more down the road, whatever I wish. It's going to take a lot of logs already just to construct these and for that i will probably need to hmm yeah cut down some more trees again over here as well all right what's going on here we do have all the building materials in with the balloon so this really should get cracking here new resort the, ve the veggie soup now right and with that a lot of food is coming in again how long do the buttermelons last under a shelf and under a roof 36 days so that's actually pretty good already right if we freeze it uh, it would then be indefinite but freezing is not a uh, possible at the moment but that's already a nice amount and with that we can yeah you know we can harvest more and just just have a happy a happy summer really everybody's sleeping right now day 11 it is it is still spring all right i'll take it next day it's really beautifully warm right now 20 degrees it's perfect it is summer now at last and also here the next tower has been finished so the defense is looking now fantastic with two flamethrowers and two towers and also here now the hot air balloon is coming finally along jack is on its way transporting more logs in can reach construction too mm, can are you actually anything to yeah, he's not really interested in that. He's interested in combat and crafting primarily, but that doesn't mean that he's not getting good at some construction. More first aid kits. We have really a lot of them now, 47. That's going to last us for quite some time. And there is also my hot air balloon. And with that, we can start expeditions finally. And I think if I'm looking closely, one of my guys is pretty good at that. And I think it was Quinn, if I'm not totally mistaken. Hmm, wasn't he the guy? There it is. Explorer loves going on expeditions. Expeditions take less time. That's the one. And with that, Quinn could go on. He's researching right now, but that's okay. We don't need to research all the time. Wasn't there a... Yep, there's a thick smoke over there. Um, oh, we need to still supply the hot air balloon with fuel. 30 it takes us. That's a lot. So we should also have a look now at fuel production. And for that, I do actually need manure, right? And... Out of manure, we can make uh, fuel. So where there are animals, there must be also then some manure. So let's just have a look at that. Hmm, really? No manure here? We do have lots of animals on that side. There is lots of here. There is manure, right? So there it is. And we can observe it. And out of manure, we might actually do some interesting stuff then. You, you'd be surprised. I think Rita probably can do it, or Amber. She's going to observe the manure now. Off she goes. Yeah, hot air balloon now has all the resources in, so we can do the thick smoke expedition. Quinn is going to do this, and he's going to be pretty happy about that. To also see the world now, finally. It's also risky, of course. He might never return. Please don't finish researching first though. There it is. On an expedition. Take some medicine with him. And off he goes. Amber meanwhile starts observing the manure. That's actually a quick task. Can continue with the mining for our foundation that we're going to need. And goodbye Queen. I hope <laughs> you come back in one piece. Next up, we have discovered manure now. Extensive observations of the object. I concluded that this is indeed the byproduct of common metabolic systems known on many worlds as manure. However, this one seems to be secreting, uh, secreting small amounts of flammable liquid that could be collected and used as fuel. And with that, we get the crafting liquid fuel on a workbench. 
the more manure I collect now, the more fuel we can make. Uh, let's actually go in and also get me the liquid fuel. And yeah, we do need to actually collect manure now. The thing with manure is there is not a lot usually most of the time and it's um, spoiling rather quickly. So we really need to be fast about it. And I think over there we have, no, this is the only one here. And we just need to be lucky finding more. Wherever there's animals usually. There's 150 manure over here. Plenty of that. Let's collect it. I think Rita will be doing that job. Oh, also Rita is getting the first harvest done. And that's the grain. Very nice. For all of this, we probably will need a bit more shelter, right? So for the harvests, I will not have enough space there anymore. Let's actually increase the size of our basic shelter that we have there. And with that, we'll be able to, yeah, store a lot more resources in the background than here on these shelves. Ready for cooking then. So I want to keep the, the food, of course, as close as possible to the cooking area. This will have priority for the next day. And a bit later, the expedition was complete. I am too late. A mangled body lies twisted on the ground, not far from the crash site. It looks like they got attacked by something. I won't be able to scavenge everything in one go, but I'll mark the spot. It will be possible to return later. Get out there before you get attacked and do some scavenging now. Ooh, that's a risky decision here that we can do. Bury the poor soul and do some scavenging now. Mm, nah, I'm not going to risk Quinn here. Honestly, I'm not. He has to return immediately. He is one of my most valuable ones as he's so good with researching. I can't risk that. Alright, Tack, and that's a problem, he is actually on his way to eat some buttermelons. That's a raw material really and we should prohibit that. So I'm also going in now and say allow consumables, not of raw food, right? No one should be allowed to consume raw food from now on. We do have a cook who's getting better at this, hopefully. Yeah, level 3 already. And getting more tasty by the hour. <laughs> or by the day at least. Yeah, the darts already is there as well. And this should make people then a bit happier. We still have the survivor's determination on my survivors right now. That's giving me a 40 boost on happiness. This is actually going to end in one day and seven hours. Um, the problem is we have the sleep parasite making people very unhappy. Uh, it's dark, drowsy and few fun things to do. So this is something I'm actually going to tackle right with probably a few more musical instruments soon. Also, um, we probably will need some proper beds as well at some point now. And with that, I will need more cloth. I think we have the first harvester coming in of cloth then as well. Getting some proper beds and also getting some more things to do. Also, we should look for more lights that we have then out here. So we have the wall torch, right? And with that, we can illuminate the area a bit. So we can have a, a wall torch here. We can have one here. We should not have one in the sleeping area, obviously. Not good. Uh, I definitely would like to have one here. And probably also want to have one on the outer side here somewhere. There you go. To increase the area with light. This makes people happy too. All right, a new day is dawning. Day 12, Quinn should return now from the expedition, hopefully. We're going to need him again. Chaos still looms. It's beautiful right now though, very cozy. And of course, we should now soon start preparing then that first house of ours because winter is approaching. Stay tuned.